Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Critical Mode on the PlayStation 4. In the last episode, we did everything we could do for now at Port Royal, including defeating Barbosa and ending the Curse of the Pirates. In this episode, we are going to head right here to the Ancient Highway and go to Agrabah. So let's go ahead and start this up. We chose our High Wind Level 5 that we just received. We are ready to go. Look at this thing. Holy crap. Use circle to roll. Oh. Let's go. De, de. The music's so good right here. All right, cool. So we can roll, we can shoot, we can do whatever we want. Uh, we do have other things that if we want to use, we can. Let's see if we can kill this red, though. Uh, let's see. Can we kill it? Can we kill it? Kill it? Yes, we can. All right. Here we go, baby. Let's get on this, uh, this, this wheel here. See if we can... Yep, we damaged it. We were able to shoot it around. Dude, I love this one. I don't know what it is about this particular gummy shit mission, uh, but it really reminds me of Mega Man and the Mega Man series. I don't know why. I wish I knew, man. Uh, it might be because of the design of, like, this wheel, uh, potentially. Maybe it's the music. It's probably the music, to be honest with you. Like, let's let's be real, right? Let's be real. All right, so we're keeping this thing pretty much at bay for most of this. Uh, we'll see if we can... Oh, yeah, get out of here, nerd. Get out of here. So this is kind of like a the ancient highways, kind of a boss, if you will. You're basically just fighting this one over and over and over and over and over. Uh, and just kind of keeping him at bay and making sure he doesn't actually get in and do any real damage to you at all. Now don't forget, we can use our circle as well to avoid a ton of attacks now, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, and, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, I don't know if we actually, so circle will allow us to dodge, cool. Uh, I don't know if we have any rockets or anything, I don't think so. Um, it, not yet, anyways. We don't have, like, any high-powered any high powered attacks just yet. That doesn't mean that we won't get them, my friend. That doesn't mean that we won't get them. Right there, we were able to get the cannon upgrade, which is awesome. Uh, super worth getting for us. That is that is for sure. The more upgrades you get in the gummy ship, the better. So let's go ahead and uh, and make sure that we stay pretty much at full health right now, which is, which is good for us, especially with that dodge roll. Um, and, of course, let's see if we can kill this one. I want to make sure. Okay, we were able to do that. Let's focus on these guys. Nice. Gnarly. As long as we get all of these upgrades, I feel... Ooh, what happened there? It looks like they were all destroyed. All right, now we need to focus on this thing. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Just focus on it. Let's get rid of him. He's going to do this massive attack. We can pretty much stay still and just keep attacking, and we'll be able to hopefully take him down. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Stay in this. We're taking a lot of damage. We're taking a lot of damage. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, yeah. We took him down. But we'll get a ton of health back. Right back to full health for killing him. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, let's go ahead and take down these. We're almost at the end, actually, surprisingly. Um, or at least I hope so. It feels like we are. I think we have to take care of that 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 uh, that wheel yet again, but we'll be able to do that. There we go. We made it to the end. I lied. We didn't have to take care of the wheel at all. Piece of cake. Missions level one and two are unlocked, and we get the high wind level six, and the invincible level two. And we get a Comet G. And we now have access to our next world, which is Agrabah. This is actually kind of a long world. Uh, so it might be uh, at least two to three parts. We'll see. We'll see how we can do. Let's go to Agrabah, level, battle level 22 world. Let's do it. Gorge, I wonder how Aladdin and Jasmine are doing. Hey, maybe Riku's with them. Yeah, I am the king. Keep dreaming, you two. Come on, Donald, you were thinking the same thing. No, I wasn't. Uh-oh, it's a, um, it's a Yago. Wait, you got me all wrong! You're young, you all right. No, I mean, it's not the old me. I turned over a new feather. I'm legit. No more scams. Promise. Bet that's your new scam. You gotta believe me. Sure, let's go. I was stuck inside that lamp when 
Jafar, remember? When I finally escaped! Then some things happened and... So, free as a bird, huh? Have fun! Gorge fillers, he looks pretty sad. I want to apologize to Aladdin and Jasmine. Could you guys maybe put in a good word for me? Sure. We can do that, can't we? Watch out! All right, defeat the Heartless. These are Luna Bandits. These guys can do a lot of damage if allowed, so make sure that you stay on them as much as possible. They do fight a little bit different, so you could technically uh, switch. Also, we hit level 22, baby, on Sora, which means our strength is now up, which is always good. Anytime our strength can go up, I'm a happy camper, man. I'm a happy camper. So it looks like Iago, if he can be trusted, has changed over a new leaf. Good for Iago, man. Good for Iago. And good for us. Uh, but if he got out... Does that mean Jafar also got out? I don't know, man. I don't know. So this isn't a, a terrible time to actually go ahead and use a drive form. I'm okay with doing that. I'm going to use wisdom form, and then we will just go ahead and focus on these guys and be able to do a tremendous amount of damage and be able to, for the most part, take them out. I kind of just want to see if we can get level two. Oh. Uh, where are they all coming from? Maybe that was a bad time to use wisdom form. Oh, we'd have been goners if Iago hadn't helped us. Ain't that right, fellas? Yeah, but he didn't do it on purpose. Like, let's be real here. But you'll have to win over Aladdin and Jasmine yourself. Be on your best behavior. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Where is Aladdin anyway? I bet you he's at the palace. Oh. Then let's go. Agrabah map. A map of the area. Now, luckily... Oh, that was fine. Because, look. Insects buzz about this foul-smelling vase. Uh, right over here. If it happens for what happened last time, Aladdin and Jasmine would be a sort of way I'm responsible for that. Uh, I don't know, dude. I don't know if that's true. Uh, we can talk to any of these people if we so choose. Uh, they're not really going to say too much to us. Although, we do have a new item that we can pick up here. This is crazy. The Aegis Chain is so, so strong. Uh, I definitely recommend picking up as many as you possibly can. And definitely equipping them right away on Sora. We're actually going to give him, uh, instead of the Dark Inklet, we're going to give him the Aegis. Uh, now he has 36% damage reduction to Fire, Blizzard, and Thunder with that Champion's Belt. We could get rid of that Champion's Belt and put Dark Inklet to... Um, let's do that. It'll just raise our defenses and we'll still have that little bit so we don't have the diminishing returns i think that's okay i think we can i think we can do that and be fine we also got an aerial finish here uh which means that we are almost running out of ap uh unleash is a powerful finishing combo move to a single target in midair that's actually really strong uh and we can also save if we so choose but i'm just going to continue with the game so there are no Heartless at all in Agrabah right now. So for the most part, uh, we can go ahead and pick up all of these chests that are laying around. Anything that we want. Uh, a high potion, always good. Right over here, we can pick up a Mithril Shard. And we can't go over that way yet because we need to go to the palace, of course. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, there should be a... Well, there is right here. I think if I use fire... There we go. I was about to say... I couldn't figure out how to destroy that. Actually, you know what? We just picked up a puzzle piece, so why don't we actually go to our journal? And we have to do this eventually, right? So let's go to our journal, and we actually can complete um, the heart, I believe. Yeah, we can complete this. Literally, all we have to do, rotate it. Boom, we get a serenity crystal. A mysterious crystal filled with contentment. A very rare ingredient. Awesome. Thanks for playing. You're welcome. So we were able to do that. Now, uh, duality, we can't really do yet. Uh, but we do have more frontier puzzles. Uh, looks like we actually are... That piece pretty much went exactly where I wanted it to. Uh, so the next one that we're really going to be working on is duality. We have three more pieces that we need for it. So we'll be able to do that hopefully hopefully soonish. All right, cool. Uh, so that is pretty much the only... I think that's the... Oh, there's a puzzle, another puzzle piece right over here that we can go grab. But first we need to grab this item. So again, like I said, this is a great time to get items because there are no heartless in here now. 
There will be later, though, so make sure you grab these while you can. Right there, a Mithril Stone. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. I mean, a lot of synthesizing items. Mithril Shard. Right over here, we can grab another chest. There's so many items in here. Uh, which has an AP boost. We have so many AP boost. Uh, we should probably use them soon-ish. Uh, just because we're finally we're finally filling up our AP gauge for Sora. Which is crazy. I never thought that day would come. Right here, a Serenity Shard. Always good to get. Uh, and then, I believe, we can just bounce up here and be able to get this. Another duality puzzle piece. Uh, we can talk to Iago. The palace is right over there. See? That huge building with the dome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh... Let's see, I just want to double check and make sure that there aren't any chests over here. As far as I know, there aren't. Okay, good. And make sure that we, you know, don't have any chests or anything either. Uh, and I believe that is everything that we can do here. We can check over here where we fought and talk to Donald and Goofy. They're not going to say much, though. Um, and, yeah, that's about it. That's about it. We had one heck of a time. We did have one heck of a time with Donald, oh, with, uh, with Aladdin. I agree. All right, let's proceed to the palace. Jasmine. <sighs> Sora, Donald, Goofy. Your Majesty. <laughs> I never had the chance to thank you for before. You helped Aladdin defeat that awful Jafar and save Agrabah. All in a day's work. But, uh, it looks like the Heartless are up to no good again. Is there any way we can help you out? I think we're all right for now. And you always got Aladdin. Oh, he hasn't been himself lately. Huh? I'm not sure. Usually, he's the same cheerful Aladdin. But sometimes, he just seems sad. Mm. He leaves the palace and goes off by himself all the time. I've asked him about it, but he says nothing's wrong. He's gone again today. What if he doesn't come back this time? Hey, maybe he's got a secret girlfriend. I know. I'll go find out who she is. <gasps> Iago, quick, Sora. Oh, catch him. And I'll warn the guards and everyone in the palace. That's the thing. Iago's not... <sighs> nice move. Maybe it's something you said. Gee, maybe we should go talk to Aladdin. He's got to be somewhere in town, right? Good idea. I wonder what he's been doing. Stop, thief! Hi, Sora. Come back here! If you can't control that furball, put a leash on him. Look, I'm sorry. You should be ashamed of yourself, Abu. Uh, no hard feelings? <laughs> Abu? Hey guys, uh, sorry about earlier. I was kinda in a hurry. What happened? You know Abu, he couldn't keep his paws off that lamp. <laughs> no talking your way out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, yeah, I guess you can't be that down in the dumps, huh? Who said I was? Princess Jasmine, she's worried because you're always in town. Got a new girlfriend? No way! Still, I guess there's no fool in Jasmine, huh? See, Genie and Carpet took off to see the world. It's what Genie always wanted, so I wished him the best and all, but you miss him. Man, things must be really quiet with Genie gone. Yeah, that's why I come here. The action, the people, there's always something going on. I mean, come on, I met you guys here today, right? This place is full of surprises. Look at Donald's face, dude. Uh, Sora, Iago? Oh, right, he wants to apologize for all the trouble he caused. Oh, he does. Gosh, he's so sorry he's shaking. Uh, the, 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 that lamp. What about it? It was the lamp, you know, the one with Jafar in it. Uh-oh. Come on, there are a million like it. 
Hey, I was locked in that thing for months. There's no way I'd mistake it. Oh, no. Then we better go and talk to that peddler right behind you. Isn't that peddler in the movie Genie? Isn't he, isn't he Genie? All right, so now we're going to switch out Donald for Goofy, uh, just so that we have access to our uh, our command. Now, we do get Aladdin to our party, who has Jackpot, Item Boost, MP Haste, and once more. And for Ataxia slash Frenzy, Quick Play, and Trick Fantasy. Sounds good to me. Goofy also learned Teamwork, which is his, uh, his limit, uh, but we won't really be using it, because again, I don't really like using limits that often. Uh, it depletes all your MP, and when you're playing on critical and you need access to a heal, um, that's not technically that great. All right, so we are uh, fighting m a new Heartless. This is actually called a Silver Rock. These things will turn into light and fly around and do a ton of damage. You'll have a reaction command that you can use to kill them. Um, so use that reaction command because they can do a tremendous amount of damage. They're very similar to the Blue Rhapsodies and Yellow Operas and... And, uh, and and whatnot from the from the first game, uh, so and from this game as well. So you you need to uh, make sure that you deal with them in a way. Luckily, we have Aladdin, and Aladdin's really strong, so I'm not too worried. Now we need to head to the peddler shop. Now these guys also uh, are pretty easy to kill, and they give you twenty something uh, experience for each one you kill. So you could run around this whole area and defeat all of the heartless that spawn. Uh, which isn't a terrible idea, or we could go where we're supposed to go, and go to the peddler's shop. So let's do that. Is there any way we can buy that lamp from you? Of course, that is, if you can afford it. No worries. Yeah, we can pay you in royal trip, Donald. Might I be able to interest you in another fine lamp? No, that's the one we need. Ah, oh, well, perhaps I can be persuaded. If you bring me a treasure beyond even my imagination. Something, say, fit for a sultan? <gasps> Donald, dude. Treasure? That could be tricky. There's lots of at the palace, but it's not mine to take and I can't ask. I don't want to worry Jasmine or the sultan. Hey, I know! What about the treasures in the Cave of Wonders? I don't know why I did that voice for Iago. Just deal with it. All right, Iago, you lead the way. And after we get the treasure, I might even believe your apology. You can count on me. All right, Gilbert. All right, cool. So uh, now we can head to the other way that we have to go, which is actually we can just go through this way to the bazaar, I believe this will lead us to. Uh, yep. Okay, cool. So we are going to have a ton of Heartless, including the introduction of an old Heartless friend of ours. Uh, that you may remember, the Fat Bandit. Um, as soon as he spawns, we can go ahead and kill him. Now, we're not going to be able to actually get this uh, just yet, unfortunately. It looks like it's a bit too high up for us, and we don't have we don't have the abilities we need to be able to do that. So, let's deal with uh, these guys. We get Shift Shot, and those will destroy those, and we will be able to do that. It also destroys whatever they hit, so it's super, super strong. Right here, we get a Mithril Shard. Again, we're in the Bazaar. So it's always worth it's always worth grabbing. Uh, I'm gonna use fire here just to destroy this, and then we can uh, go on the silver bandit yet again, and we can actually open this one as well and get a high potion right here. We can open this chest, which will lead to a AP boost. Uh, and now I'm gonna use fire yet again just to kind of destroy things, um, making sure we don't miss anything, uh, and then we will again get on this and hopefully be able to destroy them no problem. There's a treasure chest right here that we can grab, uh, which contains a power shard. Good for us, good for us. Also, there is another treasure, uh, another puzzle piece that we can grab right up here. This all leads to pretty much the same place, so we need to use fire to grab that. And we get the frontier puzzle piece, which means we only need two more frontier, uh, I believe, I believe. Oh no, frontier is the one that's a lot of. Mithril gem, perfect. Uh, frontier, we actually didn't have for the longest time, and now we're getting, now we're getting them. So I'm going to destroy this too, just to make sure. Uh, I think that's pretty much all of the things that you can get right now. Um... I, I just, if we had high jump level 2, we'd be able to get this this piece right here. Unfortunately, though, we just don't have it, so we can't get it yet. Um, which is fine, but I want it. You know? I want it. Alright, so I'm going to see if we can find our buddy here. I don't actually see him anywhere. Um, there should be a fat bandit spawn somewhere. So, let's, let's see. Maybe in here? I mean, we'll, we will run into them. So I don't need to go out of my way to find them, but uh, also, you know, getting experience any chance you can is always good. Uh, and money, too. 
Like, let's be real, guys. We actually need a lot of money in this game. Um, you've seen you've seen the stuff that we need. So let's go and head to the Cave of Wonders out here first, though. So this is the Palace Walls, which is a new area. This was not in the original game, um, which is kind of cool. We get a skill ring, uh, which increases our max AP, uh, AP. It's kind of interesting that there that was in there. I thought that would be a map, but you can't always get what you want. Right here, we can open this and get a Mithril Stone. And now we can probably just save. All right, we can talk to our friends here. The Cave of Wonders is over there, where those sinister-looking clouds are. It's a dangerous place, but we should be all right if we go together. Goofy, something bothers me about that look in Donald's eye. Uh-oh. I bet we can find enough treasure at that Cave of Wonders to satisfy. The question is, will there be enough to satisfy me? What's going on with the greedy Donald stuff happening? The Cave of Wonders is full of traps. You'll need to do more than just fight your way through. That's true. All right, everybody. So, we are going to end the episode here. In the next episode, we'll go to the Cave of Wonders and deal with the Snow Miser and Heat Miser. Uh, <laughs> actually, there's a boss fight later. Uh, it's a joke. Uh, but we will deal with that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. Showing up on screen right now is some links that you can click uh, that will take you to different things, including a Patreon where you can get early access to videos for just a dollar a month. Also, never give up. Never surrender to the lamp. Yeah.